If you're familiar with other subjects in my Machine Learning Foundation series, then you'll know that I love to start off a new subject area by providing some historical context on it. Not only does this ease you into the theory and practice of the subject area, but it also helps us understand how we sit at a particular point in a remarkable chain of accumulated knowledge, how we benefit from standing on the shoulders of giants. Perhaps even crazier is that developments that you personally contribute to in the fields of probability theory or machine learning could also propagate through the millennia of human and machine progress that are yet to unfold. How trippy is that? The earliest known use of probability was by Arab mathematicians around the 8th to the 13th century of the Common Era. So this means that probability is relatively a recent development. It's only about a millennium old. So that contrasts starkly with calculus, which is several millennia old, for example. And so that early usage was largely related to cryptographic communications. So probability was used to encode messages, and then they would be sealed up, they would be taken by horseback or whatever, to somewhere else delivered to the recipient of the message. And then the recipient would have some kind of probability-based cryptographic key that would allow them to decipher the message. And so this would help keep communication safe during their journey. Al-Kindi is a particular Arab mathematician who's, well, not quite pictured here, but <laughs> painted here. And he is the first person known to make a statistical inference using probability theory. Like many mathematical and intellectual developments, Europeans several centuries later built upon the early work of Arab mathematicians. And so Europeans specifically developed probability further to study games of chance. So for example, the 16th century Italian polymath Gerolamo Cardano played a big role in this a century later, these ideas were developed further by the Frenchman Pierre de Fermat and Blaise Pascal. But up to that point in history, all of the probability theory was combinatorial. So it was dealing with discrete integer numbers. For example, working with integers of count data. Modern probability theory, which expands beyond just combinatorics and integers, was mostly devised very recently in the 20th century, for example, by the Soviet Kolmogorov and the Austrian von Mises. This modern probability theory allows us to work with continuous real values, which in computing we could call float values. And this modern probability theory is what underpins frequentist statistics today, Bayesian statistics today, and machine learning. So these are all different approaches to making inferences from data probability theory plays a key role in all of them, and we will dig into that in more detail in a later video. Cool. Hope you enjoyed that little history lesson. The next video develops on what we covered here to provide an introduction to exactly what probability theory is.